what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back thank you for sticking around today we're going to be doing two more episodes of slam dunk episode 9 and 10 and i am ready i am ready to jump in man i want to see this see this anime i don't want to rush it but at the same time i do want to see the pace pick up a little bit to get to the the point of it all but um not that i'm not enjoying it as i've said before um, I just want to see it pick up. Get me to the point where I don't want to stop watching the show. Like, I don't want to take a break. I want to do more than two episodes. I want to get to that point in the anime. Like, I'm anxious because I know this anime, the, 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 I see what they're building up to. I just want him to get there. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But it's not necessarily that I'm trying to rush the anime, really. It's more of like, let's get to the to the exciting pieces of the anime where i can be like you know when i was watching ippo or when i was watching haikyuu you know what i'm saying where i would binge watch you know i can sit down right now i can only watch two episodes at at a time sometimes i do do go for but i have to take a break in between and usually when i'm doing animes where i'm sitting down and i'm doing like six you know what i'm saying six to ten episodes in a session to prepare it for whether it's for early access or whether it's for the channel, I usually binge it, it the entire thing. Like I say, if I'm going to watch 10 episodes in the session, usually even if I have a show planned, if the, if the anime is going good, I'll keep going. You get what I'm saying? So that's just it. I sometimes make a commitment to sit down and watch 10 episodes of Slam Dunk, but I can't because it's... The pacing is, is is just very slow right now, and it's like after two episodes, I'm just like, uh, let me go get something to eat and come back and do these other two, <laughs> because it's just not. It's exciting. It's funny. I mean, it's not that exciting. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm waiting for them to get to that part, um, and I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. Like if I, you don't want me to sit down here and be telling you that i'm super excited about this anime when i'm not not super excited right now like i'm happy to watch it because it's it's funny and i see where they're going and i, I just want him to get there you get what i'm saying um so that's just me i think it you know you can't tell me that the first time you watched this anime you were you watched it like you were like oh my god i can't wait to see the next episode no <laughs> like that would be that would be weird for you to tell me that you watch six episodes of this this anime and be like yo i can't wait to see the next episode like no i'm not gonna believe that because unless you're like you know what i'm saying like because they haven't really shown anything in this anime yet where i'm like oh my god it's so awesome you know what i'm saying or to jump out of my seat oh my god you know what i'm saying like there's nothing yet you know, Rukawa showed some stuff. I think it was in episode seven that I really, that was really cool to see him do. You know what I'm saying? The, and the animation was pretty, uh, was pretty good too. And some of you guys are also telling me that the, um, you're also telling me, well, I think, I don't remember what the comment said. I'm trying to remember. It was, it, it was a comment about something i don't remember whatever let's get to the reaction <laughs> i will see you guys for the review okay so that was episode 9 and 10 of slam dunk really enjoyed watching it never really took me out of it like it, it it's keeping me engaged but the pace of the story is still very slow and i know they need to establish this to go they need to establish this storyline um and i'm a person who likes to get not necessarily to the action but when it comes on to sports anime you don't want to spend too much time we're 10 episodes in you don't want to spend too much time the only reason why, like, if I was watching this on my own, I probably would have lost interest already. I'm not even gonna, 
kid you. The only reason is because you guys have hyped this anime up so much that I'm just being patient to see where it's going. And I'm I'm looking forward to see what this practice match is going to be like. I think that's going to be the first moment that really gets me hooked into the anime. Like I'm enjoying it because it's funny, right? I'm enjoying it because it's funny, but that's not what the hype is about. The hype is about, hey, it's one of the greatest sports anime of all time, not just about the sport itself, but also the story that is told behind the sport from my understanding and from the hype that you guys have put behind this anime. So that's what I'm looking forward to, you know what I mean? That's what I'm looking forward to. So as I said before, I probably would have lost interest in this anime already. You know what I'm saying? I probably would have lost interest in this anime already if it, you know what I'm saying? If it weren't like we're, if, if, if it, I'm, what, why am I having trouble speaking? What, what the hell? Yes, I probably would have lost interest already if it weren't for you guys. You know what I'm saying? If it weren't, if I wasn't doing this for you guys, I probably would have lost interest in this already. And I'm, and that's just me personal. It's not you guys. It's not anything that you guys did or anything like that. This is my personality. This is me. Um, I've spoke about this extensively in the past about I like when anime establish their stories early on because that's the reason why you lose people when it comes on to new series whether it be tv shows whether it be anime whether it be movies you have to establish what you're doing and give people an idea of what the thing is about in the first couple of episodes if you don't have that i told you guys if it weren't for you guys i probably would not have watched one punch man i probably would have never watched it no matter the popularity or whatever. And this is just me. For me, you need to establish that storyline. I I was like, One Punch Man is funny in those first couple of episodes. But I told you guys before that I've seen like a couple of episodes of One Punch Man. And I was not interested to see a guy one punch everybody. You get what I'm saying? I wasn't interested to seeing that. It was funny. But when I rewatched it, because you guys said, oh, you know, you should check out One Punch Man, whatever. It's really good. Just keep watching. It gets better. And I say, okay, let me take a chance. The same thing I'm doing with Slam Dunk right now. Same thing I'm doing with One Punch Man right now, where I'm just looking at it and I'm saying, I'm going to give it a chance because you guys say this, this anime is really good. And so far, it's good enough to keep my attention but I wouldn't say it's in the upper echelon of anime yet. Especially if for a beginning. To give you guys an example. There's a reason why Hunter x Hunter is held in such high regards by me. It's the reason why it's in my top 5. By episode 2, you knew exactly what this anime was about. Except for the Nen. Except for the Nen, you knew about why it was titled hunter hunter you get what i'm saying pretty much so much stuff was established in those first two episodes we knew who the, the main character was going to be what the main character was, was about you know just great stuff great how to establish a character what did we learn in the first couple of episodes of this anime <laughs> other than the fact that we got a simp <laughs> I mean, pretty much like a guy that's really likes a girl, you know, being, you know, he's a hopeless romantic and I get that, but that's not what the anime is about. It's about basketball and it's, it was established. They did some things. They mentioned basketball. You know what I'm saying? They mentioned basketball, but it don't, they still haven't really gotten into the meat of this anime yet. And I get it. The basics are important, but how long can you keep somebody engaged enough to watch that learning process? You get what I'm trying to say? And I'm saying this because I'm not trying to bash the anime in any way. I want you guys to understand that I'm not bashing the anime. 
I'm saying this, um, 10 episodes in, I'm saying this, and I have to give my honest opinion of where I'm at in the anime. I can't, I can't tell you what I'm going to be saying 50 episodes in. I only can tell you what I'm experiencing now from sitting down watching this anime right now. I'm telling you guys, if I was watching this anime, I would have dropped this anime after, probably after five episodes because I didn't, I, I don't see where it's going under the fact that we're watching this young man's journey into learning how to play basketball with him calling himself some sort of genius, which he is absolutely not. He's having trouble right now making layups. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? The easiest, literally the easiest shot in basketball it's harder than a dunk because i mean it's easier than a dunk because dunks you have to you have to for, for to do a dunk you actually have to have some level of athletic ability to be able to jump up there with a layup a kid could do a layup on a 10 foot basket it's not hard to do you get what i'm saying you might not make your first one or your second one or your third one but he was there for a good minute trying to do this and could not do it. So he's no genius. But I think he's going to get better. I'm here for the journey. I'm waiting to see the journey. And as I said, most of the stuff that's going on right now is just funny stuff. You get what I'm saying? And there's a glimpse. There's a small glimpse of seriousness sometimes. But for the most part throughout these 10 episodes, it's just pure you know what I'm saying? Just fun. It's just fun right now. But I'm waiting for him to really get serious about basketball. And I thought he had a moment there and he turned it into a funniness again. And that's what I'm trying to say. Like, if if you guys are telling me, hey, you know, it takes a while to get there and stuff like that. I would have a whole different perspective on what I'm saying right now. But you guys didn't tell me that it takes so long to really get into it. Um, and you just got to give it a chance. You get what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong, they are anime. I, I mean, you, it's not a classic versus modern situation because Yu Yu Hakusho picked up really quick. Like, two episodes in, we knew Yusuke was fighting for his life to come back to life from the become a spirit detective and all of this other stuff. Like, he died in episode one. So everything happened. So we understood by, I think it was like episode five, kind of what this thing was going to be about spirit realm human realm all that stuff we get it we have an understanding of the basic things of the anime i'm just saying and as i said i don't want to harp on this too much in my reviews because i just have a feeling that this anime is going to take off and it's going to become really really good um but it's just my critique at this point it's just my critique at this point of what i am watching and from and my experience it's not your experience that i'm having this point of view from it's from my experience and i can't tell you anybody else's experience i can't you get what i'm trying to say <laughs> like as i said the only reason why i have not dropped this anime is because you guys said this anime is one of the goats or the goat i've seen people put comments like the goat of all animes and i'm like oh shit and i definitely have to have to you know endure this early torture of just funny funniness because if you're saying this is one of the goat animes or the goat that simply means it has to have a great story behind the sport that they're playing it has to be a great story a, a great character development and all that stuff i'm looking I'm looking forward to it and I'm giving it time. I'm giving it time. So just bear with me. This is just critique from a person who has just started watching the anime. So I appreciate you guys. Um, I'm being patient um, and I'm not getting frustrated. You see that, you know, from my reactions, I'm enjoying watching it, but I'm, I'm not losing patience. You know what I mean? I'm enjoying what I'm watching, but that's just a a small critique that I have that the pacing these early episodes the pacing is not it's not great you know what I'm saying it's not great um, so I appreciate you guys like the video as always leave a comment let me know what you think if you if you disagree with me 
um, tell me what was your experience the first time watching it because some people they're you know what I'm saying they're entertained by just something being funny you get what I'm saying but that's not what I was that's not what got me to watch the anime like you didn't tell me oh it's one of it's a funny anime you get what I'm saying like if that was it then I would just be watching it for the for the funny for the comedy right but that's not it that's not it that's not what the hype is for <laughs> you get what I'm saying so that's why that's not the reason why I got it to watch it to react to it I it's because you guys hyped it up so much it'd be like you gotta watch slam dunk it's you you have to watch it because it's it's awesome the character development the story you know what I'm saying because it ain't the animation that's for damn sure <laughs> you know what I'm saying because animation is junk is janky as hell it's not great animation but I don't have a problem with animation that is dumbed down we all watched freaking Dragon Ball Z pretty much with janky animations those animation you go back and watch Dragon Ball, Ball Z now animation is trash okay trash compared to what we have now in comparison okay back then that shit was lit but no <laughs> it's not lit now i mean when you look at when you compare like say when you compare dragon ball z's animation to dragon ball super animation it's it's night and day it is night and day using the same exact characters and shit it's night and day it's night and day you know what i'm saying and you know the standards that we hold these studios to these days like you know what i'm saying attack and titan levi versus beast titan like those standards are above and beyond what we should be expecting but it is what it is is the pressure that we put on these studios to actually deliver these great animations in in today's you know scope of media so it's like because there's better technology, there's best, better processing power, there's better graphic design um, programs, there's, you know what I'm saying, better animation um, cre programs to create these animations, so we expect better, and we put that pressure on them, and as a studio, you gotta deliver, regardless, we're consumers, so we want the best, if the best is available, right? The best is available, we want the best you know and that's just what it is so it's definitely not about the animation when it comes to this i'm definitely here to know what the greatest sports anime is all about because you guys said it's not haikyuu it's not hippo and you know hippo is sitting in my number one spot right now still you know what i mean and it's kind of weird that i have a, a um you know hippo as my number one anime you know what i'm saying in 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 my top five you know so it's kind of weird but it is what it is it's my top five i get to put whoever i want in that number one spot hunter hunter could easily be in that number one spot too but there's reasons one day maybe i'll talk about it in a different video why i have ippo over hunter hunter as number one even though hunter hunter um the main reason is the why i can't put hunter hunter in the number one spot there's more to it but this is the main reason right here it's not done hunter hunter is not done it's not done also we got attack on titan like i in my opinion when attack on titan is done i think it's going to be in the number one spot for me if they do it right you get what i'm saying if they do it right and you know just just culminate everything in season four i mean attack and titan is gonna be hard for you to put even hunter hunter in front of even though hunter hunter is a incomplete story in the anime you get what i'm saying in the manga too i think that guy is gonna die before before <laughs> before hunter hunter is done okay um but in any case i've talked too much i've talked enough but if you guys have a different opinion, feel free to put it in the comment section, of course. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.